welcome to Alpha Military TV. Thanks very much for tuning in once again and seeing what we're up to. My name is Richard Saunders. Now, as always, I'm going to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel because it does mean a lot to us. And invite anyone who's perhaps found us for the first time to consider subscribing as well. And if you like what you see, hit, hit the like button too. And, the, and you can support the channel in another couple of ways. We've got some links below to our store and also to some pages on Amazon for some products that I use on a regular basis. And also, if you check out our website, alphamilitaria.com, you'll be able to find a whole range of topics uh, covered there, reviews, tips and tricks and what have you, and, and also some, some other articles too. Now then, we're talking about a, uh, a new to the UK rifle uh, from a company called Reximex today. It's a Turkish company. And um, a company called uh, Rangerite is importing some of their PCP rifles. The company was formed in 2015, Rexinex this is, and they produce around about, I think, three or four, I think it's four PCP rifles, and three of them are coming into the UK at the moment. Um, and this one is the Rexinex Myth. Now, Rexinex in Turkey will um, call this the Tormentor, but it's been rebranded as the Myth over here. And it comes in a black, a black plastic hard case. Um, it's quite a nice case. A little bit shallow, um, I could just about get this rifle in uh, with this scope. This is a, an MTC uh, Viper uh, Connect scope, just about squeeze that in. But you do get some goodies, you get uh, a couple of magazines, you get a single shot tray, you get a Picatinny accessory well, rail which attaches underneath here, and you get a hat. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through the rifle as we usually do, zoom in on a few things in close up and then finish off by going down the range. So the Rexamex Myth is quite a compact rifle. It's 840 millimeters long uh, without a silencer, and it weighs about 2.8 kilos without a scope. So pretty compact, pretty light as well. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the back as we normally do, and then I'm gonna work my way forward on the rifle to talk about the key features. Uh, then we'll zoom in on some of those. Then we'll talk about the whole magazine loading and inserting process and the air filling process as well. And then at the end of it all, we'll take it down the range and see how it shoots. Now, the key thing about this rifle is that um, it has a dual air supply system. So it has a, a steel bottle at the back here, which forms part of the butt. It's a 250cc uh, rifle, a uh, cc bottle. And then at the front, you also have a 130cc uh, air tube as well. So you get 380 cc's of air with these two uh, combined. Now, on the back end of the rifle, uh, the butt is formed partially by this bottle and partially by this uh, plastic sleeve that goes over it. And the length of pull, so the distance from the butt to the trigger, is about 380 millimeters, about 15 inches, which is about standard. And, but you can actually adjust that if you have really long arms and you need a, a longer pull. You can adjust that by slackening off a little screw, a little grub screw on, underneath here, and then pulling the sleeve back a little bit further. And then you've got some additional adjustment by, you, by pushing a button in the, the shoulder pad here will, will move the shoulder pad up and down as well. So that's quite nice features. Um, there's... Uh, Patches of stippling on the pistol grip as well as the cheek piece up here and the fore end, uh, which adds obviously grip and a little bit of texture as well. And the pistol grip is, is quite nice. It's molded um, for both left handers and right handers. I should, should say the rifle is ambidextrous apart from the fact that the, the side lever can only be sighted on the right hand side of the rifle. Um, but the pistol grip is very comfortable. It has a groove for your trigger finger and then on my side it has a groove for your thumb as well. Doesn't really lend itself to a thumb up grip, but it's very, very comfortable to grip with a wraparound grip. Now there's this nice flat base to the uh, pistol grip as well, which I think bench shooters will quite like. But underneath it, it kind of looks like there's a, like a, a little trap door here to access some kind of cavity in the pistol grip for storage. Don't be fooled though, because it isn't a trap door. And if you start poking around with a screwdriver, all you're gonna do is chew up the plastic. But there is a, a, a slot at the front here, uh, in front of the trigger guard, that will take a spare magazine. Now, the trigger itself, um, 
is a, a post and shoe trigger. It's quite comfortable, very comfortable in the figure and you can in the finger and you can actually adjust the the trigger blade uh, for angle and height by slackening off a little grub screw uh, and then just turning it around slightly. And you can also adjust the two stages uh, for length of travel and for, for, for let off by but you have to remove the stock and also take out the safety catch as well. Now, I'll be honest, I, I did that, and whilst I could get some um, adjustment to the let-off weight, I couldn't really seem to get any kind of um, change to the, to the length of pull on the first stage. Having said that, there is a very, very defined stop to the second stage, and it lets off really, really crisply. It's almost like a sort of a single-stage match trigger in actual fact, um, and, and I got used to it very, very quickly. Now, the safety catch is a cross bolt safety catch and is mounted uh, at the top here, um, well away from the trigger, which gets a big tick from me. You push it through from the right to the left to make the gun safe, and from, from the left to the right, um, sorry, you push it from the right to the left to make the gun fire, and from the left to the right to make the gun safe. Um, <clears throat> now, on the side, here you have the side lever. It's ever so slightly sprung in the first stage and then you pull it back a second stage to cock the rifle and that drives a magazine which sits in the breech here which will take uh, 12 shots in 2.2 or 14 shots in 177 and they're these cassette type uh, magazines um, and you get two of these now there are quite a few components on this rifle that are very similar to other Turkish rifles um, principally crow rifles. So the magazine looks very similar, um, the pistol grip looks a bit similar, the, um, the muzzle flute, muzzle cap flute, fluted muzzle cap thing, that looks uh, familiar as well. So I'm guessing that there's some sort of commonality that there's a, probably a Turkish um, a parts company that's doing a great trade at the moment. Now, <clears throat> forward of the side lever, you have a, a little power adjuster here. It's got lots of sort of stages to it, um, but fully up is um, is full power. And I've had this on the Chrono, and this is this produces a very very consistent 11.4 foot pounds, and over a 30 shot spread. I was only getting five foot per second uh, variation, which is great. In the sort of the, the mid part of, of the the range of this um, this power adjuster, I was getting 10.6 foot pounds, and at the lowest setting right down here. I was getting just under eight. Now, in reality, uh, that's going to probably be quite useful if you're going to go in the garden and doing some plinking, but I think most people are going to whack it up to the full 11.4 foot-pound setting right at the top here and leave it there. And then on the right-hand side here as well, um, you know, again, gets a big tick from me because it's well away from the muzzle, is the, um, is the fill gauge. Now, the rifle um, will take a... But according to Reximex, the rifle will take a 250 bar uh, fill. Now, I've spoken to Range Right, and they actually recommend a 200 bar fill. And from that, they say that you will get around about 200, just over 200 shots in 2.2, and about 150 in 177. And having had this out and, and a bit of a shoot, that seems about, about right, actually. Now, the barrel is, is not really shrouded, um, <clears throat> and... Is finished off with this fluted muzzle cap um, at the end, um, which, which simply unscrews, and, and, and by unscrewing it, you get access to a half inch UNF. And I would suggest that you will want to put a silencer on this rifle because it does go off with a little bit of a pop without one, especially if you're going to be using it for hunting um, and also for, for using it in the garden as well. And then the filling, uh, the fill port is achieved by pulling this cap off the front of the, the, the cylinder here to access the, the fill port and then giving that a fill as I say up to 200 bar. So I think that's all the, the, the key items. Um, what we do is now is we'll zoom in on a few of those in a little bit more close-up detail then we go through the magazine filling process and the air filling process. <laughs> Thank you.
Now you get two magazines with the Myth. Um, they are this uh, plastic cassette type magazine. Um, will be familiar to uh, perhaps some other um, Turkish rifles. And uh, very simple to, to fill up. Um, on this plastic uh, faceplate here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little arrow at the top, which tells you that you have to rotate this uh, faceplate clockwise as far as it will go. So just, and that basically preloads the spring. Um, so do that, and that exposes the first hole. Now, you put your first pellet in that first hole. Um, just put your finger underneath it there, because if you're not careful, it will fall all the way through. But that then holds that faceplate in place. Then it's a simple case of returning that faceplate back anti-clockwise, filling in the chambers as they're revealed with pellets. Now, as I said before, you get um, 12 pellets or 12 shots in 2-2 two, two, and 14 in 177. And what's quite good about this magazine is that, and if you can see on the front there, there are some numbers on the, uh, on the inside. And when you're looking down the rifle, down the muzzle uh, shooting, you can see how many pellets or how many shots you've got left. And the other thing is that once you, when you run out of pellets, the side lever will uh, will come back, but it won't go forward. It won't sort of fully return. Oops, got that one. And um, that means that basically you, you're not going to, A, you know when you've run out of pellets, and also you're not going to waste any air on a, on, a, on a dry shot. So once you fill in all of those chambers and that faceplate is returned to the upright position, you're ready to put it inside the rifle. Inserting the magazine is quite easy. Um, what you'll need to do is the magazine goes into the breech from the right hand side. So first stage is to pull the side lever back to cock the rifle. And then with the, the clear plastic fl uh, faceplate facing towards you in the breech and with the round end of the magazine first, you just need to push it in from the right as far as it will go and then return the side lever. Well, there's no real mystery to filling up the, uh, the Rexamex myth with air. As part of your pack, you will get a fill probe, which is this gold part here. The silver part is an aftermarket adapter for foster fit, quick fit connections. And to fill the rifle, first of all, you need to pull off this cap on the front of the rifle. It's held on with like a friction fit O-ring down here. And then that reveals the, the port up here. And what you need to do is just pop your fill probe into that port as far as it will go. Obviously connect that to an airline and fill that to 200 bar, then bleed the airline off. Remove your fill probe. And then return that cap. Well, that's our rundown on the Rex and Mech Smith. Next stage is to take it down the range and see how it shoots. Well, I'm down at Reading Air Target Shooting Club to give the Rex and Mech Smith a go. I'm using uh, Air Arms Diablo Field uh, 2 2 caliber pellets. These are the 5.52 size. And I set the target out at 30 meters. So let's see how it shoots.
That's a full magazine. Let's go and see what it looks like. Right, how do we get on? Well, that's not too shabby. So that's a full magazine, 12 shots at 30 meters. Uh, probably a couple of, where are we? Full magazine at 30 meters, probably a couple of fallen low down here, but I'm gonna guess it's probably 10 pellets through a fingernail size hole up there, which is not too bad at all. And say that was with air arm stablo fill pellets, a uh, 22 caliber, 5.52 size. Well, there you go. That is the Rexamex Myth, a 22 caliber, also available in 177. If you're looking to get into the PCP game, this is not a bad place to start. It's just a, a pound under 600 pounds. Very, very accurate, good shot count, uh, lots of adjustability as well. And uh, yeah, shoots really nicely. Anyway, hope you found that useful. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to us. And if you go onto our website, which is www.alphamilitaria.com, you'll find a whole bunch of information on a range of air gunning topics. Anyway, thanks for watching.